What's up there, insiders, and welcome back for another YouTube bombastic trailer review. As I said on the previous movie review of War Guys, I am gonna talk about the Deadpool 3 official teaser trailer review. Shall we begin? Let's begin. So basically, uh, Marvel Studio um, has published the first teaser trailer for Deadpool 3, which obviously features High Jackman as Wolverine and Ryan Reynolds as Wade Wilson, which who plays Deadpool. And um, the trailer teases the single 2024 Marvel Cinematic Universe film, because yes, it is gonna be the only Marvel Cinematic Universe film. Um, yes, there is Madame Web, but I will talk about it. The Deadpool, the Deadpool trilogy final will be the sole Marvel film for the Marvel Studios to be released in 2024 after the Hollywood strikes of the saga after uh, 2023. Yes, as I said, there will be Madame Web, but Madame Web is not like there are some issues um, pertaining Madame Web, and um, it it is from Sony, so basically it's not from the Marvel universe. Yes, it takes part in the Marvel universe. But there are some issues, and I'm not gonna speak like that. I I, I will go and watch Mother Web, and I obviously will uh, give you a review. But let's talk about the Deadpool 3 trailer. So yes, it is gonna be a, basically a, a solo Marvel from the Marvel Studios to be released in 2024 after the Hollywood strikes in 2023. So, however, Deadpool... Um, because of Deadpool is official part of the Avenger team series, the Phase Five Adventure of the Marvel is already being built as one of the largest entries in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the MCU. So, what is the official title? Yes, we had some theories and rumors that we will have uh, an official title of Deadpool Three, um, Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, Deadpool cast and crew uh, of the head of the Kevin Feige, but yes, the official movie, the official movie title will be Deadpool and Wolverine. Yes, the title is literally perfect. Deadpool and Wolverine. Yes, it is gonna be the official title of the movie. So, how? What is the plot and like that? So the main Marvel Cinematic Universe, the MCU tie-in of Deadpool and Wolverine, is one of the most significant since Wade's film are connected to the studio timeline through Loki's Time Variance Authority. Um, Agent Paradox is identified as Matthew McFadden, mysterious personnel. Um, also, despite the fact that none of the well-known TVA members from Loki appear, that's we still need to watch the movie and uh, see how they appear because everyone is dead even the family and in the trailer we saw the family so yeah even his wife wait so while there is a character in the marvel comics by the name of paradox that one of the Wolverines takes seems to be a whole new incarnation so Paradox gives Deadpool the chance to be a hero with the Avengers and the other Marvel Cinematic Universe heroes as he becomes involved with TVA and um, Wade declares himself prepared to join Deadpool and Wolverine even going so far as to call himself the Marvel Jesus He called himself like that and when he called himself like that, like that I I was laughing at it, but we will see um, additionally, it is evident from the Deadpool and Wolverine teaser that the Fox Marvel Universe is coming to an end, yes, but in the closing moments of the Deadpool and Wolverine teaser, we see that Logan steals the show as, um, steals the show as he approaches Wade, which is Deadpool, um, but yet it is unclear how he plans to return, but oh, it's official that Hulk Jasmine, which is playing Logan as Wolverine, will return. So, given that the Deadpool and Wolverine teaser trailer is classified as such, a full official trailer obviously is probably in the works prior to the movie's summer release. Yes, it is gonna release on July 26. Uh, but now that the video has surfaced um, the trailer, it offers a fantastic first look at the Deadpool and Wolverine, which set up what is sure to be a huge game changer for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. 
Um, even if there are still plenty of surprises to come, that point where Wolverine's marketed, obviously, is already off to a strong start like that. Um, yes, I was a little bit not disappointed, but obviously it is better uh, to leave it in the cinema so that we will shout and like that in the premiere. We saw a glimpse um, of, a, of the costume of the Wolverine. We didn't see the full face of the Wolverine. Yes, we saw a little bit of cameo. Basically, in the Deadpool, there will be some variants of Wolverine, like the multiverse. But here we are in the Deadpool. Um, um, there will be some variants, um, um, but we'll see. They apparently showed his back of the costume and his hair. Um, um, but that's for sure, I think it's Hulk Jackman of Wolverine, of Logan. Um, um, but the, the trailer is literally perfect. We saw, uh, I also have a theory that his wife, obviously, yes, we saw her dead, but I don't know how, how it is going to set up this movie. Basically, she is alive, and his wife, I think she will be Deadpool girl, Deadpool woman. And I have a big theory that his wife will be Blake Lively, Blake Lively, or, or what is her surname, it's difficult, Blake Lively, Blake Lively, and this is why, this is because when the official teaser trailer released, Ryan Reynolds posted on the Twitter account, on the Instagram account, have you seen my wife, he posted like that, so basically, yes, um, I think that Blake Lively uh, will play the Deadpool girl, woman, and also, if you see close um, into Deadpool's arms, Deadpool's arms, the gloves are black, and uh, the Deadpool's woman are black with red. So basically, yes, it might be some blood, but I don't think that it is blood, because the material looks like it's a material of the gloves. But we will see. So basically, what rate I give the Deadpool official teaser trailer, this is notice guys, that this is a teaser trailer, it's not the official trailer. I think the official trailer, yes, will be, um, like, this teaser trailer was a 2 minute 25 second video trailer, but I think it will be like a 2 minute 30 seconds, I don't know, but we will see. So basically, what rate I give it, um, I give this a 9 out of 10, since obviously we still have to watch it um, in the theaters on July 26. Obviously, for sure, if it lives up to our expectation, this movie can easily and will be definitely a 10 out of 10 movie. This for sure will be a 10 out of 10 movie. Deadpool 3 has the chance to save the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Right now, as we know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is dying with all those movies that are coming. Like, they released Morbius, yes, the Morbius wasn't that good. They are saying also, because people went to the premiere of Modern Web right now and they are, they are like disappointed about it but we will see, I will be watching Modern Web late because here in Malta the movies are literally published late like Modern Web is releasing tomorrow um, on Valentine's Day on the 14th of February but in Malta it is going to release on 21st February even Kung Fu Panda, Kung Fu Panda is going to release on March 8th outside of Malta and in Malta it is going to release March 28th I think, because I saw a poster saying coming soon, but never say never. So basically, yes, I give a 9 out of 10 the Deadpool 3 teaser trailer, um, and obviously if it lives up to my expectation, this movie will definitely be a 10 out of 10 movie, for sure. So, thank you guys for watching this video, and stay tuned now for the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes movie official trailer. I will be talking about the Kingdom of Planet of the Apes official trailer review. Thank you guys for watching this video and stay tuned for this other Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes official trailer review. Bye bye insiders and thank you.